So here is the story. You have been very interested to grow tomato plants in your garden. You go find the right variety, order the seeds, start the seedlings, plant them and you are just eagerly waiting for the first harvest of tomato. While you want a juicy red tomato, this comes in your plant. What do you do? What is this? You don't have a green thumb is what you think. But what is this? How does it happen? How to avoid this in future is what the video is about. This is Geek Gardener and in this video we are going to talk about blossom and rot. So this condition that you see in tomatoes, bell peppers, cucumbers, this is called a blossom end rot. So why it is called a blossom end rot? So this is how the plant bears the tomato. This is the stem end and this is the blossom end. So this, whenever a rot happens on the blossom end, it is called a blossom end rot. Shortly BER. So why does this happen? So this is a symptom of calcium not supplied to this part of the fruit so calcium is responsible for the development of the cell wall the skin of the fruit so when calcium is not supplied to this particular spot the skin doesn't develop causing a rot and then bam you get this instead of your juicy tomato so why doesn't calcium get supplied here so calcium deficiency shows up as this blossom end rot the reason for calcium deficiency could be many things first thing it could be actually the calcium is not supplied to the plant it happens when you supply fertilizers that are without calcium to the plant so then the obvious reason is there is no calcium in the soil so the plant is not having enough calcium to produce fruit number two there is calcium in the soil you've been watering it with ample calcium then the reason could be your soil ph is not in the right range for the plants to take it up so the fix for that is to adjust the ph of your soil <coughs> or the coco peat based mixture or the hydroponic mixture that you're having though calcium is in the soil or your coco peat medium or any medium that you're growing in if the ph in the root zone is not right which is ideally should be by between 5.5 to 6.5 calcium cannot be taken up by the plants so maintaining the right ph is another essential thing for the plants to take up calcium another important thing is calcium moves inside the plant along with water so if you're not watering your plants regularly the plants will have a calcium deficit so these are all the three reasons why calcium deficiency can occur in the plant there is another reason which is not very common is lack of transpiration if the plants are not taking up enough water because the area is so humid so there is no calcium uptake from the root that also can cause calcium deficiency so before you go into applying loads of calcium into the soil just think where have you gone wrong and this once it comes to the fruit it cannot be recovered you cannot spray or do any calcium supplement to the plant and get this fixed what has come you cannot avoid it simply you have to throw it out and sooner you find these things and remove them from the plant it is better for the plant and as well as you because the energy wasted on fruits that are going to be wasted is lesser so scout your garden daily find out what's not good what's not going to stick around and then remove them at the earliest stage and if you find one of those quickly see where have you gone wrong is it the ph is it the water uh, watering your plants regularly or is it the very high humidity so which one of these is your problem or simply there is no calcium many times there could be a possibility that there is no calcium because we are used to the fact supplying fertilizers that are np and k nobody says ca have you seen np k ca so it's it's very rare that a commonly sold fertilizer in the market has calcium in it it was always assumed that the water that we supply to the plants has calcium in it and most of the time it has because of the hardness in the water so if you're using ro water to the plant there is very likely chance that there is no calcium so people who use RO water for your plants, calcium deficiency is what something you will face in future. So prepare to feed calcium to the plants. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and ensure your plants don't go into a situation where there is a blossom and rot. 
happy gardening bye bye